Do you know what's better than chicken cordon bleu? One pot deep dish chicken cordon bleu casserole because not only is it a lot easier to make, but also there's more cheese, more ham. Fantastic. Mmm. <laughs> cheese. Mmm. Then the ham hits your taste buds and the chicken. You got a little bit of breading on there. This is the way to make chicken cordon bleu. So let's go in the kitchen and make some right now. All right, let's get ready to make some uh, chicken cordon bleu casserole in one pot. All right, first thing what we got here is some of the ingredients. And I have here two tablespoons of milk and one egg. That's going to go in here. Um, I have here for the chicken, I have one and a half pounds or about 680 grams of um, chicken. In this case, thigh. I like the thigh meat, but you can use breast meat if you want. It's up to you, whichever. Um, for breading this, I have a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. That's going to go into a larger bowl. Two tablespoons of oil for cooking, a half a pound of Swiss cheese. That's the one you know with, with the holes in it. It's actually Emmental, but uh, I, I know when I was living in Canada, it gets called Swiss cheese a lot. There are many Swiss cheeses. This is just one of them. But the Emmental has a certain flavor that's just perfect with this. Half a pound or 230 grams of sliced ham. So let's get this together. First thing we're going to do is into this bowl, I'm going to put the egg and the milk and then just going to whisk that together just yeah, enough to get that nicely combined all right and now I'm going to toss the chicken in here put it all in there Get rid of this bowl and just turn the chicken, move it around here to coat it with all this egg and milk mixture. So I'm just going to flip it over a few times, kind of toss it until it's all coated. That looks good. And in a larger bowl, I'm going to put in the panko breadcrumbs salt and pepper. I'm going to quickly mix that together just to kind of distribute the salt and pepper throughout the uh, panko breadcrumbs. Okay now we're going to add the oil to my deep dish pan. Now in my case I use my old cast iron pan. Uh, this comes from a set. There's a, there's a lid which is actually a fry pan. Fantastic, I love this thing. But any heavy uh, oven proof deep dish like this, like a Copco or something like that, will also work. All right, so anything that can go in the oven. All right, let's bring that up to medium heat. All right, again, we just want to bring the uh, oil up to where it starts to get fragrant. It's heating, it takes a little cup, you know, a little bit longer with a cast iron. All right, so that oil is starting to move around now, starting to pop, it's hot. What we're gonna do now is just take some of the chicken, toss it in with the breadcrumbs, not all of it, just some at a time, flip it around, get it coated in breadcrumbs, and then toss them into that hot oil. There we go. All right, this is gonna be good. All right, let's put some more of that into the breadcrumbs. Into the hot oil it goes. All right, now just going to cook these on medium heat for about 10 minutes. I'm going to turn them every once in a while so we get even browning all around. So let's come back in uh, a little less than 10 minutes because we'll start making the sauce and everything too. All right, see you in a a little under 10 minutes. So that's been just under 10 minutes. Been turning this every once in a while. I can see nicely browning. Perfect. 
smelling good. All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook just a little bit longer because I'm gonna make the uh, white sauce. So what we have here, well, we already have pre-made white sauce. This is one 15 ounce can of pre-made white sauce. Now you can make your own white sauce, but it just takes a long time. And I find it's just not as much fun. So since we make cooking fun again, let's keep it easy. All right, so let's put that into a bit of a larger bowl. And then we're going to add in the milk. That's uh, half a cup of milk, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and just going to take the whisk and gently mix that. Just want to combine it. What you're going to do is making the sauce a little saucier <laughs> because when it comes out of the can, it's quite thick. Whoa, there we go again, making that mess. All right, could use a bit of a bigger bowl. It would be smarter. So don't follow my advice. Use a bigger bowl than this. All right, that's looking pretty good. Doesn't matter if it's a tiny bit lumpy. It's all going to mix throughout there. Okay, now go to take this off the heat, so turn that off. And all I want to do first is just want to go around the bottom and make sure that anything that's stuck to the bottom, any of the breadcrumbs, just kind of loosen them up a bit. There we go. All right, spread the chicken out. Now, we're just going to layer this. So what we do is we take the sauce and just pour it over the chicken. All right, spread that into the corners, huh. corners of a round pan, yeah, well, you know what I mean, into the edges anyways. All right, into the edges here, and now we're going to layer the ham on top. So we're just going to take this, and I'll like just go around in a circle. All right, now I've got all the ham on top of there. Could take the Emmental cheese, do the same thing. Just uh, layer it around over the uh, top of the ham. Oh, broken pieces. Mmm. I love Emmental cheese. Actually, Emmental Greer, and if you ever get to switch to an Appenzeller cheese, even better. All right, so now we've got the cheese, we've got the the layer of the chicken, the white sauce, the ham, the cheese. And then over top, we've got another half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. And just going to spread those around. Because what happens is the, the Emmental cheese will put out a bit of like a melted butter looking fat from the cheese. And the panko will soak that up and then brown. This is going to be delicious. All right, that is going into a 350 degree Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius oven. And it's going in there for 45 minutes. That's gonna come out, Mwah. Let's put it in the oven. That's been baking in the oven now for 45 minutes. Look, look at that, golden brown on top, bubbling away. You see how the, the panko breadcrumbs have soaked up the, um, the oils that come out of the cheese, except for just a little bit along the edge here. And they've just become this delicious crust on top. Now, the best way to serve this is to let it stand for about, about 10 minutes. It's like a lasagna or anything else like that. It's really difficult to serve right away, but let it stand for about 10, 15 minutes. It's still going to be really hot, but it's going to settle a bit. And it's going to be easier to cut and serve. All right, so enjoy this. It's a fantastic dish uh, because you just make it all, as you saw, all in one pot. Nice winter dish, good in summer too. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you can get the free printable recipe for one pot deep dish chicken cordon bleu casserole on our website. So go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen. <laughs>